Thumbs up for Richie. Thumbs up for Richie. Thumbs up for Richie. Thumbs up for Richie. Hi, my name is Richard Ortiz. I'm from Madera, California. I'm a safety officer at Madera Unified School District. Uh, we usher the kids to class. Uh, we do reports. Uh, we keep them safe. We keep the staff safe. We're very visible. And uh, number one, uh, prevention against uh, bullying, against fighting, against theft, all the above. When I was a senior in high school, I knew this is the job I wanted to do, reach back and help the kids. And um, what helps me is uh, being a father and uh, coaching. And because you got to have patience, you got to love kids. If you don't have kids, if you don't love kids or you don't have patience, you're in the wrong job. I was going to coach the um, soccer team and the baseball team, but um, you know, I'm going to uh, go after my passion, with is uh, the media outlet, the Sweet Science versus the Cage. This is Richard Ortiz with the Sweet Science versus the Cage in collaboration with the Fighter's Voice, voiceography at its best. I'm here with the Latin Cobra, the Stockton Bad Boy, Kilo the Kid, Madera, the Smoke Show, Joe Louis Lopez, the Avenal Kid, Jose Ramirez. The sweet science is, if you look back, it's a terminology for boxing. In the cage, of course, is cage fighting, MMA. So rather than choose one, um, you, you can't have but respect both fighters. And the whole argument is, who's the tougher fighter, the boxer or the MMA artist? Well, I respect them both. We bring the fighter in, sit them down, and not only talk about the ring or the cage, but talking about their personal life, talking about what makes them click, talk about their sponsors, their hardships, their joys, and what brings them peace. You know, I'm going to talk to uh, you about something that, that's very dear to your heart. I understand your inspiration, your corazón, that you're going to be dedicating this, this fight to your baby girl, correct? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this fight is dedicated to my daughter, Caroline Noel Madera. I always watch you. It doesn't matter if it's fight week or just another day out. You always have time 100% for your fans, and I admire that. Is that something from your upbringing? Most definitely. You know, I just feel like I'm, you know, it's just an ordinary guy from having us, though. You know, it just... I'm used to, I was, I was uh, gifted with this talent and, and God gave me these opportunities and these blessings to become a, a, a good boxer and, you know, but it doesn't, it doesn't make me superior than anybody else, you know, so I, you know, I still admire and, 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 and appreciate all the support I get. You know, and then I'm just winning, you know, and then all of a sudden I kind of got ahead of myself and that loss did teach me to focus, you know, so, like, okay, you gotta, you gotta treat boxing like you did football. You know, you gotta have two a days, you gotta do everything and believe me, everyone knows I work hard for boxing. But I gotta take that mentality that I had on the football field where I'm willing to die for that first down. I'm really willing to die for that extra inch. I need to do that in the ring now. And that's where my focus comes from. And I know that's where it's at now. And that's what these other guys, did. my opponents come and take my damn head off. He, I mean, if he can, he'll try to kill me. You can die in the ring and I need to take that more serious than I am. I plan on this site growing uh, to give the fighter, the combatant, an avenue, a voice piece to speak his or her mind and let them know what's going on with the promotions aspect of the game, the management aspect of the game, and uh, the event itself. Me and my wife, we've already had that conversation that it's no longer a hobby. We've had the conversation where she doesn't say to herself, okay, it's just a hobby to him, he's gonna get past it, or it's just a little something. She knows where my passion's at and where's my heart at. And as far as the kids, Cassie would always look at me and my daughter and say, Dad, you got this. But first and foremost, we'll go back to that event, that first event I did with Mark Davis. It was a Bellator event. And I was wearing a nice jacket and I just happened to be on TV in the background. And my son texted me, he said, Dad, nice fit, which means nice jacket, nice, I like what you're wearing. And he tried calling me. And usually Richie, he'll wait, hey, I'll talk to you when I get home and so forth, but he tried calling me so I knew it was important. 
And he, and he called me and he said, Dad, I'm proud of you. And he texted me, Dad, I'm proud of you. So ever since there, then, that day, I wanted to make my, I continue to want to make my son proud and I just kept pushing and thriving and striving just to be the best at what I do. My drive is uh, driven from um, my son. He motivates me. My son is uh, in heaven, sitting right next to Jesus. And um, I just do everything, everything. I wake up in the morning with passion. I wake up in the morning, I thank God, I pray. And my drive, my motivation comes from my son. And the whole thumbs up thing is I was looking for anything. What, what can I do to honor my son. What can I do? Should I wear hats? My son was wearing hats. Should I wear this color? Should I do this? That? And, I, and I just started brainstorming. And my wife said, just let it happen naturally. Naturally. And ever since Richie was a child, he would always give thumbs up. And that's one of the pictures that we picked on Richie's headstone is Richie with a thumbs up, which you see right behind me, which I do have that on my left sleeve of my shoulder. So whenever my interviews are over, I always um, acknowledge my son. Thumbs up for Richie. And the fighters have bought into it. Um, the actors have bought into it that I interviewed. And anybody I make contact with, anybody that's close to me or, or knows me, knows that it's, I'm passionate about that. This is why I do what I do. This is why I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. I grind at it, but I'm still a sponge and I still have room to learn. But enough said, it's a wrap. Thumbs up for Richie.